Like the MCU, the LGBT universe is vast and one video wasn't enough to cover it all. So we're back with a sequel. This time we're going to dig a little deeper into understanding terms associated with the queer community. Spoiler, homophobia dies in the end. Sexuality or as Indian parents like to call it, jao ja ke ek glass pani le aao. Sexuality can be divided into sexual identity and sexual orientation. Your sexual identity is how you think of yourself in terms of whom you're attracted to, while sexual orientation refers to who you're attracted to sexually. Men or women, both or neither. Basically, aapka dil kiske liye dhadakta hai. There are many sexualities outside the L, G, B and T. So let's break some of them down. Asexual. Asexual or ace is when someone's sexual attraction score is equal to the total number of people who watched zero. Zero. Basically, these people experience little to no sexual attraction. Pansexual. Often shortened to pan, it refers to someone who's attracted to all gender identity or a person's qualities regardless of their gender identity. Questioning. If someone's unsure about or exploring their own sexual orientation or gender identity, they're questioning. Because it's okay to be confused and it's okay to take your time to find the answer. Gender identity. This is very different from sexuality. Gender identity ka matlab, aap kis tarah khud ko identify karte ho. While sexual orientation ka matlab, aap kis ki taraf attraction feel karte ho. Gender identity can be different from gender expression. The external display of one's gender through a combination of clothing, grooming and social behavior. In our first video, we explained that if you identify with the gender you were born with, you're cis. But if you don't, you might be transgender. Some other examples of non-cis gender identities are gender fluid. These are people who may identify or express themselves as more masculine on some days and more feminine on others. Basically, unki marzi. Gender queer. Someone whose gender identity is outside the strict male or female binary. They may exhibit both traditionally masculine and feminine qualities or neither. GNC. Gender non-conforming. These are people who express gender outside traditional norms associated with masculinity or femininity. Because who said boys can't be slaying in them heels too? Non-binary. This is a person who identifies as neither male nor female. This is sometimes shortened to NB or NB. Ab bolo goodbye to heteronormativity, which is the assumption that everyone is straight and that being straight is superior to all other sexualities. Okay, boomer. There are two more definitions you need to know to complete your introduction to the LGBTQ plus community. Pride, the fight against discrimination and violence towards the LGBTQIA plus community that's marked by marches around the world, including India. And ally, typically straight or cisgender individuals who support the LGBTQ plus community. Both are essential to the progression of the LGBTQ plus movement in India to stand by the differences we have and celebrate our diversity. It's taken a long fight, countless voices and a lot of courage for queer people to get to this place of acceptance. And one year since the scrapping of section 377, not much has changed. Queer folks face immense discrimination everywhere. And that's why more than rainbow capitalism and once a year shows of solidarity, it's important to integrate them into our everyday lives. So wherever you are on the spectrum, wear the rainbow with pride. Because as they say, everyone, everyone deserves love. Tell us your thoughts on the LGBTQ movement in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Vitamins 3.